how to create the equation of a reciprocal function if you're given its graph. You'll be able to identify, our, uh, identify a reciprocal function because of a vertical asymptote that the function gets closer and closer to without touching and a horizontal asymptote that the function gets closer and closer to without touching. Here's how you're going to do it. You're going to find the vertical asymptote and remember that it's a root of the denominator. You're going to find the horizontal asymptote. This is added or subtracted from the fraction. Then you're just going to find a point on the curve and plug it into the equation to solve for whatever your numerator might be. Let's follow that process for this graph. Step one is to find the vertical asymptote. Well, I've made it pretty clear here, and your teacher probably will as well. The vertical asymptote is at negative two. So, what do we know about the function itself? We know that we are going to need a fraction because it's a reciprocal function. And if the vertical asymptote is at negative two, the denominator is x plus two. Notice how I flip the sign because when x is negative two, the denominator is negative two plus two, which is zero and you can't divide by zero and that's why the graph doesn't even exist at negative two. It just gets closer and closer and closer to negative two without actually touching it. Long story short, take your vertical asymptote, flip the sign, you get that. Cool. Find your horizontal asymptote, and that's added or subtracted from your fraction. I've made that pretty clear here too. This horizontal asymptote is at y equals positive three. So, you got a plus three at the end. Now the only other thing you have to do is solve for this numerator, which I'm gonna call a. We do that by finding a point on the curve, plugging it in and solving. I've made that easy for you too. Look, the point negative five, four is on it. X is negative five, Y is four. So, plug that in. X is negative five, Y is four. Here we go. Solve for A. Four equals A over negative five plus two is negative three plus three. I'm going to move that 3 all the way over. 4 minus 3 equals a divided by negative 3. 4 minus 3 is 1, of course. How do we undo division by negative 3? By multiplying both sides by negative 3. And so, a turns out to be negative 3. That might have been even clearer to you because obviously if we're going to get 1, the top and the bottom of the fraction have to be the same. Negative three divided by negative three gives one. Anyways, a is negative three, and the final function here is negative three over x plus two plus three. Done. Vertical asymptote gives that. Horizontal asymptote gives that. A point on the curve lets you solve for the numerator. Piece of cake.